Last but not least, we're going to load the to-dos. And the load of the to-dos is an asynchronous function. It means that we, might, we want to wait until we finish loading to continue. So I will say load to-dos async function, all right? And here I'm going to try, I'm going to catch an error. Console log error, all right? So here I'm going to try. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say const to-dos, all right, in async storage. I'm going to get the item that I saved before, called to-dos, all right, that's it. Now, I want to wait for this function, so I'm going to say await. Uh, before that, I don't know if I explained very carefully what async storage is. Basically, async storage lets us save a small variables such as this key value, key value objects, okay, on the disk of our iPhone. So it lets it lets us save stuff like that. Like for example, to do's and we save something here. You can save whatever you want as long as it is a string and as long as you give it a name. All right. And it has many uh, functions such as set item, get item, clear item, clear all, get all. There's many. I don't know all of them, but there's many. So what we're going to do here is we say load to do's is an asynchronous function because we want to wait for this to finish. Okay, get the items. If we don't do this, and then we do something else here. Um, if we if we don't yeah if we don't do a sync and we do something else here, what is going to happen is that we're not going to wait for this to finish. So maybe we do something and this is not done yet, so we'll get an error. All right. So here I'm going to just wait for it, and here I want to say console log. I just want to show you what we're getting from our state okay but from the async storage as you know i saved already i saved one to do with the text hello i think all right so this is low to do's i'm going to try to get this i'm going to try to get the to do's uh, key inside of async storage i'm going to console log and when i'm done i'm going to say loaded to do's true and if there's an error i will say console log error all right refreshing Oh, here it is. This is how it looks. And it's all good. But it is a string. All right? Because it's not an object. I can try and do this. Check this out. I can try and do this. Two do's. This might work. This might not work. Maybe it doesn't work. I'm going to assign the thing that I want to get, the to do's, right? I'm going to assign it, right, into the state so what I get from the disk I'm going to put it on the state all right this is state perfect so all I have to do is just to do let's refresh maybe we'll see the hello problem it says that the sources for assignment must be an object, blah, 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 blah. And this is because our to-dos is not an object. The to-dos that we're getting from async storage is not an object. We need to convert it into an object, all right? So I am going to convert it, convert it to-dos. Actually, the actual word that you, sh you should use is called parsed, parsed to-dos. And parsed is just JSON, parse, to do's, all right? If you read the documentation, it says that parse converts a JavaScript object notation, JSON, a string into an object. That's what we want, all right? We want to convert it into an object. So here I will say to do's, parsed to do's. What the fuck, sorry. There we go. So now I'm gonna refresh. And now, hello, it's there. Awesome. I'm going to edit this. Hello, baby. Save it. And I should say to the actual async storage, because as you know, update to do also saves the to do into the async storage. And I'll refresh. Hello, baby. Awesome. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to refresh. There is nothing there. Hello, baby, baby, baby. La, 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 la complete this, complete this, and refresh. 
yeah working problem that i just found is that i'm doing this and it's going to the end and the list should work different way it should work up this is very simple to fix basically what i want is that whenever i add an object i want the new one to come to the beginning because now it's going to the end this is super simple all we do is do reverse that's it that's literally literally that's all we do we just do reverse and it's going to reverse the to do's so la 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 and as you can see now it's working whatever because we're reversing the array all right that's that's basically it awesome refresh and it's completed and it's working people now i can update save save and it's working perfect all right oh it has been fun um i guess that's it on the next video i'm going to plug it into my phone and i'm going to do some testing of see how it feels and then we're going to build it for android see you there bye bye